Hello and welcome to Power Query Sudoku. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. By the end of this video, you can click refresh and get a brand new Sudoku puzzle and solution right in Excel. And even if you don't play the game, I'll show you some cool things about Power Query along the way. Let's head to the first exercise, exercise one. Did you know there's this webpage that provides a free Sudoku puzzle and solution every time you click refresh? If you go to a browser and paste the URL, this is what you get. And it changes every time you click refresh. So what we can do is retrieve this with Power Query and then use Power Query to format it so that it actually looks like a puzzle. Okay, so we go to data and we're gonna use this from web command. And we'll paste the URL into the resulting dialog. Click okay. All right, now in the Power Query editor, we wanna use this convert into table command. Perfect, that looks pretty good. Now let's close and load two. And we're gonna store it as a table in an existing worksheet, pick a cell and click okay. All right, now that we've retrieved the puzzle and solution, we actually need to format it so it looks like a puzzle. And we'll do that in the next exercise, exercise two. The next step is to create a new query that uses as its source the result of the API. To do that, we right click the API query and select reference. Okay, the first step is just to filter this so we only have the puzzle row. To do that, I'm just gonna use this drop down, and I'm gonna select puzzle and click okay. We also don't need this name column anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. First, let's take this string and create nine rows, and then we'll create nine columns. To do that, we're gonna say split column by number of characters, and we'll use nine repeatedly, and we're gonna split into rows, and click OK. All right, now it changed the data type, and we don't want it to do that, so I'm just gonna delete this step. Perfect. Now I wanna split this into nine columns. So once again, I'll go to split column by number of characters, one repeatedly into columns and click okay. Perfect. Now when we save this out to Excel, all these zeros will show up as zeros. Instead, we just want them to be blank. So to do that, we're gonna convert zeros to null values. The way we do that is just select all the columns and click replace values. And I'm gonna replace a zero and I'm gonna type the word null, all in lowercase, and click okay. Okay, this is looking good. Now I'm gonna close and load to a table on an existing worksheet. I'm gonna to navigate to the sheet, select a cell and click okay. Now let's go to the sheet and take a look. All right, this is looking pretty good. And let's actually rename this to puzzle. So I'm gonna right click, rename, puzzle. Perfect. Before I apply the formatting, let's do the same steps for the solution. Exercise three, right click API, reference. I'm going to filter this to only show the solution row. I'm going to rename this solution. I'm going to remove the solution column. I'm going to split this column by number of characters, nine, repeatedly and split into rows. Okay, and once again, it changed this data type to a number. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that step. That way we'll leave it as text. Now I'm gonna split column by number of characters, one repeatedly, and I'm going to split into columns. Okay, there are no zeros since this is a solution, so I don't need to replace with nulls. Now we'll just close and load two a table in an existing worksheet. Select our worksheet and cell and click OK. Okay, that's looking good. Now it just comes down to formatting. Let's head to our puzzle. First thing I wanna do is hide the header row. Easy. Then I wanna change the table style and you can pick any style. I'm just gonna use this one for now. Let's get the grid lines. So I'm gonna cruise over here and I'm gonna say all borders. And now let's go ahead and center this both vertically and horizontally. Let's increase the font size a little bit. And let's change the row height. I'll use 40. And if we wanted to make some thick cell borders, we could select our little nine squares and select thick outside borders. I'll speed this up while I do it. Okay, now let's go ahead and refresh. So I head to data, refresh all. 
Okay, now as you can see, it automatically updated the column widths. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo, and let's see how to toggle that setting off so that it doesn't change the column widths. Head to Table Design and Properties. And here we just untick Adjust Column Widths. Click OK. Okay, now let's go to Data and Refresh All. Okay, much better. And now we can apply the same formatting steps to our solution. So once again, Table Design, Remove Header Row, change the style to anything you want. I'll use this one. Go to Properties, Untick Adjust Column Widths. Select the range, center vertically and horizontally. Change the row height. I'll go with 40. Select our range, all borders. And then if you want, you can do these thick outside borders to each of the little nine squares. Okay, great. So anytime you want a new puzzle, just cruise up here, data and refresh all. Then you've got a new puzzle along with the corresponding solution. So hopefully that was a pretty cool exercise. We looked at how to pull values from an API using Power Query, how to format that data using Power Query, and then how to apply some cool formatting tricks. So hopefully you learned something along the way. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 